Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install mods on Lethal Company super quickly in under two minutes because it's that easy. It's really, really easy to install mods on here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Thunderstore because that's where I get most of my mods. You can also use Nexus mods. I use Thunderstore. Click Bepidex, click Manual Download, and then uh, it should open up here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do once we've got this, we're not going to touch it just yet. We're going to go to Steam. We're going to go to Lethal Company. We will go Manage and Browse Local Files. That hasn't popped up, but basically, yeah, it brings up this. Now, I already have mine in here, so just pretend that I don't have them in there. Okay, so on the left, I've got my root folder for my game. On the right, I've got the files that I've just downloaded. Inside the zip folder are four items. The only one you need to care about is the Bepinex pack, if you double click in that you'll see there's these three files here. These are the only three you need to care about and you just need to drag them over into your root game folder. Okay, once you drop those in, if we go back to Steam, let's run the game. We don't need to be in here for long, so we can close that now. We can quit the game and they should just have a Bepinex folder. If you open up your Bepinex folder now, you should notice, again, ignore the fact I have plugins copy, it's because I've been messing about with stuff, but you should have a plugins folder. That's what really matters here. As long as you have that, you're good to go. So now that that's Bepinex installed, let's go across and actually install some mods. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Thunderstore. So make sure you've got Lethal Company as the game on the Thunderstore. And then just let's just find something we want. So, okay, top rated. Let's say we want more company. We want more players to be able to join our lobby. Let's go to the more company page and we click the link and then we can click manual download. They'll come in a few different shapes and sizes. Some will come in... You'll just see the DLL file in here, but some of them will have Bepinex plugins and you'll see the DLL in there. Okay, so all that really needs to happen now is that needs to be dropped into our plugins folder. But if we go into our Bepinex folder inside the mod that we just downloaded, go to plugins and we literally just drag it over and drop it in and we are good to go. It's really that easy to install mods. I will be doing more mod reviews on the channel. I've got some videos that already exist. There'll be more to come. And if there's anything else you want to know how to do, then let me know. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.